Hi everyone, welcome back for another whiskey review. Today looking at this um, beautiful American whiskey. Well, I haven't reviewed a bourbon in a little while, so I thought I'll give this a go. Um, you might ask Ash, do you enjoy this whiskey? I think I do. I have enjoyed it from all the way here to, well, just to the middle of that label. Now, um, Bullet obviously, the standard one, the bourbon, the corn driven one, um, is used and marketed heavily in states. In New Zealand, I haven't really seen much of it, but it is sort of looked at as a premium bourbon, and it is. It retails for around 60 to 65 Kiwi dollars, and the rye, which came available about a year and a half ago. It's been available for some time. I think it was launched in states just over 10 years ago or under 10 years ago. And um, it was a long period of wait before it came available here. I do enjoy my rye bourbons. Um, I find them to be just a little bit more intense with a little bit more flavor um, because I'm seeking just a little bit more of the spice and less of the sweetness that some of the corn driven whiskies give. And um, this one has been very, very satisfying. And I don't remember now, but I think they retail for 70 to $75, might be just under, which makes it quite affordable quite seasonable as well. You can use it to make a really good old fashioned or I like making Rob Roy whiskies with it as well. But let's see what this one's like. Now for purpose of this video, I should be holding my Denver and Lily bourbon glass in this hand, but um, I left it at a mate's house and it's been a while, um, I should get it back. But for now I'll use this, this glass. This came in one of the Jack Daniels tasting boxes of some sort and perfectly good, you know, serves a good point. Um, the smaller mouth for nosing. Let's see what this whiskey is all about. Sorry, I missed on one thing though, one very key thing. Bottle at 45% ABV. So a little bit more Jack, um, generous than um, some of the other entry level bourbons that we get in New Zealand. They tend to be around 40%. And, um, I mean, it is, I say it's available, but it does disappear, which is disappointing because I think everyone should be trying this at least once to take a break from drinking way too much of the corn driven bourbons that we tend to do in New Zealand. Now, this one is a straight American rye whiskey. So what they mean by that, the mash bill for this one, and it's on the website, they've used 95% of rye and 5% of corn. So, sorry, 95% of rye and 5% of malted barley. Um, something I learned recently that they do always use just a little bit of barley just to kickstart the process. So, 95% rye, 5% malted barley. Let's see what's it like on the nose. Ooh, very pleasant. There's just a hint of honey, but it's not overpowering. Uh, and that's the point what I was trying to make before. Some of the corn driven bourbons can be all American whiskeys, can be very overpowering in the sweetness. Where there's a, just a hint of sweetness with a honey bit of vanilla. But then you also get the oak and just gentle spices. It's not overpowering peppery or um, what's the word I'm looking for? Cinnamon like you get in the sherry cask whiskies, just very, very gentle, hint of cinnamon, just a little. Just a little bit of cinnamon, and then it goes back to being just a bit of honey vanilla. Just a marriage of two, or I might say a perfect marriage. Very, very nice. Um, not overpowering the nose, even though it's at 45%, uh, a little bit more than the standard 40% bourbons or other American straight whiskies. I'm gonna get in trouble once this video goes live because I am referring to it as a bourbon and this is not a bourbon. It's a straight rye whiskey. All right, let's see what's it like on the palate. Mm. Wow, spice, pepper, straight away. You can tell, and if you have never tried a rye whiskey, I would highly recommend Get one, get this one in particular if you can, or any other you may fancy, 
and try it side by side to a stock uh, standard corn driven uh, American whiskey and you will see the difference it's just completely different whiskey the spice is beautiful it's just lingering very very soft as well actually it's like a I don't want to say explosion but there is a lot of spice but it kind of stops and then the sweeter honey vanilla starts to kick in just a little bit of oak character and I, I will admit um, I haven't really tried to overly research how old these are because I genuinely don't know um, but if I had to guess they would not be overly old I'm not saying this is a 10 year old straight rye whiskey see I got that right um, but it is very nice you don't get that bite of it being too spirity um, there's literally no bite it's quite smooth overall plus that just a little bit of that cinnamon very very nice and some of the friends who I've shared with this particular whiskey with um, they're all cigar aficionados and they're all commenting drinking this neat with this sort of medium to full body cigar has been amazing pairing for them um, which is quite interesting for those of you who are into cigars really good really good whiskey to drink mate with your medium to full body cigars if that helps you quite nice I might just add a little bit of water to it just to see what happens I don't usually add water to whiskies that have already been watered down and are not a count strength but just purely out of interest let's see what it does get a couple of more drops here we go Mmm, more of the honey, loads of honey. No, not not loads of honey, but this time more honey came, and that cinnamon was just lingering in the background. Mmm, wow. Lot smoother on the paddle after I've added the water, but really, overall, hasn't really changed a heck of a lot. But um, if you can get your hands on a bottle, um, try making your favorite cocktails out of it. Um, and like I said, try meat side by side with a corn driven American whiskey. Or even do your cocktails with a corn driven whiskey and then also a rye. And just see if you can find some differences. And I think you will be very pleasantly surprised what a good rye whiskey can do. Very good. Thoroughly enjoying it. Unfortunately, it's running out very quickly. <laughs> Well, if you're liking the content, uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise I'll, otherwise, I'll see you in the very near future for another Mosquito review. See you.